All right, you guys, so here is my short hair style quick and easy tutorial. These are just a couple things that I personally have and that I use. Um, I use a lot of headbands if I'm lazy <laughs> um, or like a scarf and some product. So as you can see, there's nothing done to my hair right now. Um, it's naturally parted this way. This is how I had it cut. Um, the first thing I'm going to use is a texturizing wax by Ion. You can buy this at Sally's. Um, and it's basically a pomade. Um, and it's like for me, I have a lot of layers. And, um, you know, the style that I like is very texturized looking. So I just take a little bit, rub it between my fingers, warm it up, and then, you know, just play with my hair and. Um, until it looks the way that I want it to. So if you have like short hair, layers, things like that, I would definitely invest in like a texturizer or a like type of pomade because it really does help like spunk up the hairstyles. Um, that is if that's what you're going for. If you want something a little bit more smoother, I mean you could definitely use a pomade for that as well. But depending on your hair type, you might feel a little bit too oily. So now for accessories, um, I personally like these bows. I got these like a long time ago at Claire's I think. I'm sure they still have some maybe different styles now. Um, but I'm just gonna do like a little pompadour. Um, so I just take the top part and I just, as you can see I just kinda mess with it until it looks the way I want. and. I'll just keep looking and making sure it's the height or you know the way that I want it to look before I pin it. So then I'm going to take a bobby pin and I only need one for this um, since I'm not doing it high. And then I'm just going to take the bow and right where the bobby pin is, um, I'm just going to clip the bow, since it is just a clip, I'm just going to clip it like right by it or right above it, below it, wherever it looks the best. Um, you can be the judgment of that. So, and that's just one really quick, like, hairstyle if you don't want to straighten it or anything like that. Um, so I kept the bobby pin in. Another way to just do something really quick is um, use headbands. So I have a few. These are also from Claire's. They were like buy one get one half off or something like that. Um, I'm really into like that pin, pin up like um, rockabilly hair like look. Not just hair but makeup too. So I'm going to use this bandana looking one kind of cello-ish, you know, <laughs> um, and then you just want to decide what side of the head you want the, um, the bow to be on. So I tried this side where my pomp is leaning more to the right, <clears throat> my right, <laughs> um, but as you can see, I didn't really like that. So before I pinned it, because you want to pin it so it doesn't slide off, um, Especially when you have short hair, it doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't hold very well. So I switch sides, and then any messed up hair, you can just adjust. Um, after you pin the headband, it's not really a headband, but it is a headband. I don't know what you would call these. So you want to pin like towards, like towards the back of your head. Because I've done it before where you pin from the back forward and because it slides back it's just allowing, you know, it's just giving more ease for it to be pulled back and it just slides off easier. So, see, now I adjust my hair. Alright. Now the last hairstyle I'm going to do, this is like if you really don't want to do anything, like sometimes I get lazy and um, I just don't want to do anything uh, so I just put a full 
like bandana around my head. Um, again, I'm using the pomade just to pull out a little bit of the sides. And the top part I just sectioned off. I'm going to be doing like a, um, doing another pompadour, but it's just going to be right on top instead of like kind of to the side. And if you have any hair, like flyaways like I do, um, you can always use hairspray, which I will be using. And those little spikes in the back, don't worry about it because they won't be showing. <laughs> and it kind of looks like it's a little chicken tail or duck tail or something. But um, don't worry about that. So I used two bobby pins here because I wanted to stay put. Um, and if I only use one, one side will fall out. So I'm just using some sprit, some hairspray on that one little part where that strand of hair wanted to come out. So sorry if you heard that. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so take the, this is just a, a big square folded in, in a triangle like in, in a half. And I just take the bottom part. You can do it either way. Um, I like the tie at the top. You can do the tie at the bottom if you want. <clears throat> so you just bring it to the bottom, bring both ends up, and you can adjust all the side hairs and all that stuff. Um, oh my gosh, they're like mowing the lawn right next to my window. Sorry, you guys. Um... <clears throat> So you just want to tie it once. I pulled a little tail through and then I fold it over so I can tie the knot over it so that it doesn't slip out and it doesn't like kind of stick forward. So go ahead and try to do that. And it may take a couple times. I've had lots of practice. And as far as the, the sides like you saw me, I like to tuck them in so that they don't look like all sloppy. Um, and again, I'm pinning the sides just so it doesn't slip because it will slide off my hair. And this side I needed to pull forward a little bit, so I did that before I pinned it. And then depending on how you feel comfortably, you don't have to pin the back. But I tend to pin the back because I feel like it might slip slide up so that's what I'm going to do here so pin the back and then you are all set